Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? I'm Solar Wolf. This is Solar Wolf Plays, and welcome to Power World. I hope you guys are ready for this. I know I am, and we will be right with it in just a moment. All right, so let's get into it, you guys. This is absolutely an amazing game. And I really enjoy it, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this one with me too. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm so glad you guys are here. You guys are the best. Best on YouTube. Yes. Alright, so it just told us the tree holds the truth and the towers are the key. Alright, so... Anyways... Alright, so let's get into it. So I do already have a game that I've been playing on my own, but I never went this way to explore. So we're going to go this way and explore and see if there's anything actually over here that's worth a darn. Let's see. God, the graphics of this game are just beautiful. They're just beautiful. I love it. Hey, look, a chest. Gold coins, bread, and a copper key. Oh, okay. Copper key is helpful, I think. Oh, look at that. There's a journal piece, I think. I think that's what those are. Those are journal pieces. Those tell you... Those give you the lore. So, if you're a lore hunter, backtracking to get the very first Castaway Diary is a good idea. <laughs> Just for fair warning, it's actually a good idea to go grab that. And so, you'll actually want to go backwards on the map first. So, go behind yourself first. And down these stone stairs because there are apparently a pair of chests back here because here's another one awesome and then you also get the um, day one one journal and the only way to get the day one dash one journal is to actually go behind yourself when you first spawn in you can actually go back and grab it later on in the game also like if you just go back to where you started uh, windswept plains um just go back to where it literally spawns you in for the very first time and then go down the stairs behind you and it's that simple and you, you get your lore so hey lore yay oh <laughs> anyhow guys let's go ahead and go back to our normal direction here that was a really neat set of finds we found a couple of great treasure chests that's beautiful All right, now to actually get on to the stuff. Windswept Hills. <coughs> also known as Beginner's Row. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Not necessarily. All right, so we've unlocked fast travel to there. Let's grab this chunk of wood and this stone here. Hey, level two, all right. Talk to this person. A castaway? It's been a while since someone who didn't stink of pals washed up here. This island is living hell. The people I came with aren't with us anymore. These damn pals ate every one of them. Here, take some basic supplies. You need to toughen up before you deal with anything. Oh. That's not true. Nothing in its right mind messes with me. That's actually very true, folks. Like... For some reason, people think they want to fight me at first. And then they meet me in person. And their next reaction is, I don't want to fight you after all. Don't know why. Just the way things are, I suppose. So, honestly, nothing on the planet would really want to actually pick a fight. So, there's nothing in this little video game world that's going to bother me enough to make me want to, well, die to it. Oh. Anyways. Alright, so we got another chest down here. Now, I will say this on my first playthrough, guys. Um, for myself, my personal playthrough. There is the journal day two, by the way. So, you get a chest down there in your journal day two. Again... You want to explore. This is a very open world game with stuff everywhere. And I mean everywhere. You climb to the tallest 
peaks to, to some of those spiky spires back there. You can actually climb all the way out to the spike. And there's stuff there. There's like literally stuff that spawns on those locations. Life, life monk effigies for leveling or capture levels. All that stuff. Like so expansive. I'm so impressed with this game, you guys. Like absolute five-star review from my part. Absolute five-star review. Speaking of life monk effigy, there's one right there. Let's grab that. Because again, that helps level our capture levels up. Allowing us to produce better um, capture balls, things like that. Capture spheres. Sorry. God forbid I say balls and somebody gets all mad. You, you know how them, you know, easily offended people are. And it's not like I actually say any of this to be offensive. Then again... All right, so let's go ahead and unlock our first tier of stuff here. This will pretty much give us everything we need to get our base started. And now that we can build a base, we probably should do so. So, let's get started. Now, I am going to get this to have a nice wide base to it. Um, I'm just going to start with a four-top pallet set, basically get a little bit of a you know wooden stand structure out there so we can get stuff built all right everything is looking great we're doing beautifully all right so let's get our workbench made all right All right, now we can make some PAL spheres. All right, now that we've got our spheres, let's check the survival guide, because, of course, it's going to tell us that's part of the tutorial for some reason. All right, so, now we need to gather wood so we can make a wood axe. Because, yeah, we need pallium and wood. So let's grab this one piece of pallium since convenience, there's one right there. That's two of eight, so we have four of eight. That's six of eight. Hmm. Do we actually have enough? No, we need one more for the axe, and then we could build the axe. So let's grab this. That gives us two. All right. So there we go. I thought we had six of eight. We actually had four of eight. Now we have six of five, but that's different. Now we can actually deal with this. All right. So that should have given us enough wood for our pal box. Grab some rocks. Grab those cherries or berry bush. Alright, so we should now have enough. There's a stone back there, of course. I'm a dumbass and didn't even notice it. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and place that there. Let's get this built. All right. We're doing so good, you guys, already. Doing so good, you guys. So now we have our pal box. So now I should probably build... Yeah, let's go ahead and finish out our base foundation. looking great so far and I'm just placing out nine foundational pallets so that 
you know we have a nice decent sized workspace we're gonna break this down so we can place it on the farther pallet that we just placed down there we go right there's a good one yeah right there all right let's get this built excellent I also have unused stat points apparently but we'll deal with that in a moment so we need a wooden chest and we need to deploy a pal to the base we don't have any pals clearly so we need to go catch one but for that we need a wooden club yes I know you can just punch them but that is not the point <laughs> yeah I actually do know you can just punch them that's just the way things are let's see we're not gonna miss with the dawn some over there let's see come here Lamble come here Lamble let me smack you with my club no, come back here. Let me smack you with my club. It's not letting me smack it with a, with my club. You guys, it's not letting me smack it with the club. What the hell? Wait. Wait, did you turn around? What is making you run back and forth? Here, let me stop that behavior right now. Oops. Yeah, be caught. Or don't get caught. Fine then. I can always use food too. Thanks a lot, dork. Hey, a pal spear. <laughs> I'll take that because I still need to capture a pal. And here's one right here. Hi, Lamble. Ha ha. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our first pal. Let's go ahead and get ourselves back to base. That way we can get this guy deployed to the base as part of the you know stuff that we have to do to level up all right doing so good so good okay then absolutely loving this game that's a Dinosum. I like the character model for the Dinosum. It looks really cool. Alright, so let's get this boy deployed. Then we will have to make him a pal bed because otherwise he's going to become unhappy. So let's go ahead and stat points. Yes, I know we still have one stat point sitting there. So we want the straw pal bed, the shoddy bed, bows and arrows, repair kit, cloth, common shield, and we'll go with cloth outfit, I think, would be a good one. Okay. Then we'll need the feed box next, so... We will want to have that ready to go. Okay, so now we should be able to build a pal bed. Yeah, there we go. Let's get our first pal having himself a bead. And he's already got a minor injury. Like, <laughs> hmm... Alright, so now he's got a pal bed. That should make things a bit more easy for him. Alright, what else are we doing here? We need fibers and stuff. We only need two cloth for that. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some actual clothing. This will also give us our first actual armor layering. So, always worth it. Always worth it. 
Excellent. So now let's go ahead and craft our, you know, cloth outfit so we have our first armor. This will make surviving a little bit more likely. Excellent. And it auto equips it, which is nice. So we now have a base defense of 15 plus the 5 that we have just as our natural body. Awesome. I will have to build that. But I believe... Yeah, we need the wooden chest. Do I have the wood for that? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and chop down the rest of this tree. That should actually give us enough for our first chest. Excellent. This will allow us to level up our base. Hey look, a wandering trader. How nice. Nice to know that his path takes him past my base. Alright, now we can start storing stuff right off the bat. Then right after we get everything stored, we can actually level up the base. I want that because it's food. Alright, so let's go ahead and level up our base. Okay, so yeah, we need campfire. Because we got to be able to cook food, you guys. So the reason I haven't leveled up the base just yet is because I want to get at least a campfire taken care of. All right. There we go. So now we can place our campfire so we have a cooking area. Let's go ahead and level up our pal box real fast. Okay, so we need to build a shoddy bed for the next level up. I don't want to put this anywhere near my wooden base, so we're going to set that out here. Let's get our campfire built. Then we'll build the shoddy bed. Allowing us to level up again for our base. Excellent, now we can cook. Let's go ahead and do that. I really like the animation for cooking. I think it's great. She's got a, you know, a nice chicken leg in there, some eggs. Nice protein-filled foods. Making up some lamb kebabs, lamble kebabs. Which is actually no different than making lamb kebabs in real life. Grilled chickpea. So these are chickpea kebabs or chicken kebabs. Again, a very normal, real-life thing. And I'm not vegan, so I'm not going through the game on a vegan lifestyle, because that would be silly. The character becomes very uncomfortable having to live on berries and lettuce. Okay, so now we just need to build the shoddy bed. Oh, good, we do have enough of everything gathered for it. Perfect. Alright, and then we'll be able to level up the base again. Then we'll do a little exploring. I think that would be good. But you do really want to get as many levels taken care of without needing to explore as you can first. So I recommend building your base in one of these flat spots with the sand. Because they're usually near a lot of resources. So now we need to build a feed box and a straw pal bed. We already have the straw pal bed, obviously. We need to build another one. And we don't have the feed box unlocked yet. So I do need to distribute this. So we're going to go stamina. I need to go up a level. So we are going to have to explore a little bit because that's what we need right there. And I didn't unlock it this last time. So... Okay. Anyhow. Don't know why I opened the pause menu for a minute, but it is what it is. So, let's go exploring. Let's see. What are we doing? Unconscious Lamball body. Is 
Okay, so let's gather some more wood. Because we're going to need a pickaxe. I thought we were going to go exploring, and then I realized I still needed a pickaxe. So, that's a thing. But let's go ahead and gather as much wood as we can. Because we can't use our bed without a roof anyways, so we do have to build our base up a bit. So we're going to do that, I think, next. I just think that would be a better idea. First, let's make our stone pickaxe. I'm still not sure how rubbing my character's thighs actually helps them to produce stuff faster, but apparently it does. Anyways, that don't sound right. I'm going to shut up. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and... Take a look here. Hmm. Alright, so let's just go explore, I guess. Let's go explore. Gather some stuff. I still really, honestly guys, I still really wish that you were able to use a glider right off the bat. You can't, but it would be nice. So we're going to produce an old bow. This gives us range. Range is absolutely appropriate. So we'll do this, then we'll make up some arrows. And it looks like we are getting close to the first night. So this will probably end up being a great spot to end today's video. Alright, let's see, what else do we need to take care of before we move on to the next thing? It's empty these, so we're not carrying so much obscene weight. We can put those there for now. Alright, so we're organized. Yeah, it looks like we're coming into the first night. And so I do think that this would be an absolutely beautiful spot to end today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. You guys have been absolutely amazing. And we will see you in the next amazing stream or video. And as always, guys, goodbye.